Today, Black Ops 3 has one foot in the past and the other up its own ass. This is Checkpoint. Hey, it's Checkpoint, which, unlike various shower simulation games, is totally G-rated and allowed to be shown on Twitch. Wait, G-rated? Yes. How many F-bombs can something that's G-rated have? None. Just gonna go change a few things. If you're a fan of the COD Blops, but you own a previous gen system, prepare for disappointment. Activision announced this week that the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 will not feature a single player campaign, because the plans they have for the one to four player co-op campaign are too ambitious for the old consoles. Activision said, seemingly without irony, Quote, delivering the best possible gameplay experience on all platforms is always our highest priority, which they are accomplishing in this case by delivering half of that gameplay experience. A 24-year-old man from Lincolnshire has been jailed for a year after going on a vehicular rampage driving through town at speeds in excess of 100 miles an hour and causing thousands of dollars in damages to parked cars. Why am I telling you about this? Well, after he was arrested, he told police he had taught himself to drive using PlayStation games. Which is obviously not a good idea. Unless he learned to drive using burnout. When if that was the case, working is expected, I guess. The folks at Rockstar sure enjoy messing with their players, as they recently added a new achievement to Grand Theft Auto V called Cryptozoologist. With the description, you found all the animals in the game, or have you? In case you're unfamiliar, cryptozoology is the study of fake animals that everyone wants to be real because it would be neat. Things like the Loch Ness Monster, or our local equivalent, the Cadborosaurus. So GTA V players leapt at the idea that there was perhaps some kind of Sasquatch in the game. And this is where video game players have the edge over real cryptozoologists because they dove into the game files and found some new audio clips that sounded Sasquatchy. Then they found some new instances of peyote plants that hadn't existed before, one of which had some additional scripting that seemed to check if the game was foggy, so they went to the new plant, set the weather to foggy, ate the plant, and turned into Bigfoot. Kinda takes all the fun out of it, really. Imagine if you could just data mine and see if there was an object called Nessie in the Scotland directory. You're ruining the mystery! And an entire cottage tourism industry. The future of virtual reality is here and it looks... Very much like the 1980s, but not in a baller Tron kind of way, in an actual 80s lamer than you remember it kind of way. Oculus Arcade is exactly what it sounds like, a new way to play classic arcade games on an Oculus Rift. Pop on your headset, pick up your Bluetooth controller, and you can play Pac-Man, Joust, or even Sonic the Hedgehog while looking at a virtual screen housing a virtual arcade cabinet. Neat? Sure, I guess, but what's the point? Is Anyone clamoring to relive the arcade experience, but while totally alone and in a silent room? Oh wait, I think I see the appeal now. Esports is coming to prime time on TBS, which counts. Starting next year, the station will air Counter-Strike Global Offensive matches every Friday night and supplement the weekly show with online content throughout the week. Considering all TBS has going for it, otherwise, is Conan O'Brien and near-endless reruns of Friends, Seinfeld, Family Guy, and Big Bang Theory, this is a weird step in an exciting new direction for a cable channel that probably won't get a lot of traction because people who watch esports prefer to watch them on their computer on their own schedule. But there is always the stoned guy who left his TV on after watching last night's Conan demographic. People do that? Get stoned and leave the TV on? No, watch Conan on TBS and not on YouTube the next day. Oh, uh, I don't know, maybe. Coming up, Brutally Hard Mario Maker level creator Panga has released his latest opus. Even knowing exactly what to do, the level took over nine hours for its creator to beat and has yet to be completed by anyone else. I can't tell if Panga is the monster we need, the monster we deserve, or just a monster. Monster. Yeah. Monster confirmed. Monster. Dead. We've looked monster. into it. We've done the research. We are journalists. We have done the research. We total, are not journalists. Total monster. 
Hello, Checkpoint fans! A reminder that Checkpoint, much like everything we do, is now supported by you directly through Patreon. Please check it out. We would really appreciate it.